How do you communicate with each other? How do you make time to communicate with each other? Where I had to learn what Amber, her needs were, and she was learning what my needs were. And getting to that point was getting us on a foundation. And then from that point on, was really, it was been growth for us on how do I continue to support her and how does she support me. And even then, what she used to be is not necessarily always what she is now. So along the path of us growing is, is learning what Amber needs, um, what are areas that we continue to grow on, how, how is she acting, or what, what, what I need to change right now to be better at communicating. Um, you know, for us, we're talking about the kids. For us, our calendars, <laughs> a way for us to uh, communicate is like, hey, seeing what's coming up, see what's on the schedule, talking about how is your day going, what do you need help with, what can I help you, you know, what can I assist you with, uh, what at the end of the night, just putting some time together that it's just us without any distractions, without the TV or the phones, those types of things. I think that's a big deal. We may not get the most amount of time right now, but we make we try to make as much in that time that we do have. Uh, just make it you know all in on that uh, time. Denny hit the nail on the head. Communication is something that we recognize a hundred percent is probably our weak spot, but that we're constantly moving towards improving upon. Both of you are looking for continuous improvement, which is critical, but to have that in a relationship in a marriage is the oxygen of the marriage. 